I was riding with Larry in the Chiefs car, and it's pouring rain. We get a, we get a call on the other side of town, and we're rolling down here, and all of a sudden, it, we can't even see the rain is coming down like crazy. Windshield wipers are going as fast as you can. You still can't see nothing. I think I mentioned Larry. I'm like, can you see? And he's like, no, I can't see nothing. And here we go, balls to the wall, right to the call. And I remember Tommy <laughs> saying, well, we might want to just slow down a little bit. I was like, oh, we got the lights on. We'll be okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to this episode of 1075 Chatter. Today with us we have Tommy P. Tommy P is going to talk to us a little bit about his life and career, but uh, Tommy was our first um, full-time employee in the wood shop way back when, and then he yep. was our first supervisor in the wood shop before he retired and, uh, and became a vagabond, which I'm going to inquire. Nomad. 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 No, oh, you call yourself a nomad? Nomad, yeah. Well, Vagabond works, too. Yeah, that's you, good, too. If, yeah. you, if you read the uh, description. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that with you in a little bit, too, because I, I, got, I got questions. I got to know some I, answers. I, I love stuff. questions. So, but, uh, you know, you, you want to tell us, give us a little bit about yourself, like what brought you to us and, and how you got here. I mean, you can well, start there. I mean, I, was, I know the story, but let everybody else yeah. know. Yeah, well, I was a retired police officer. Well, I am a retired police officer, I should say. No, I was. <laughs> I was a police officer 25 years in Oakland, New Jersey. When I retired, well, I've known Larry and Ryan for forever. I mean, I know Ryan before he was even born. And then Larry, I met. Is that possible? Yeah, probably met you around 2001 or two, somewhere yeah, around somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere that range, yeah. And then uh, we were on the fire department together. But when I retired the police department, Ryan's like, hey, you want to come to work? And I was like, all right. I was only retired maybe a month, yeah. not I even. Need, I need something to do. Three right? weeks. Yeah, I need something to do. So I started working at uh, First Inn. It was a an amazing experience. So, so let's talk about the the, the, the the olden days, or we'll call it the good old days. Yeah, right? the good old days. The good old days. So, what what, what did your day consist of? Because I, I know what it consisted of. Well, let's see. Sometimes I'd come in if we were if we were busy. You know, did my work, of course, but I think I, I built the last cabinet on the table saw before we got the the, the CNC machine. Probably. But then, if we caught up, I'd throw the tennis ball to Jameson for about. Rested a day or whatever yeah. it is. Poor Jamo. Poor Jamo has put on poor weight Jamo. since since the since since this, we've gotten busier. You know. Yeah. The, oh yeah. He used, those, he used to fly around the shop. I remember you guys used to throw a, a tennis ball. Used to be zinging <laughs> constantly, hitting the American flag. Oh, and yeah. It would be all over the place. Now, and I did have my garden out back. I did yes. have my vegetable garden out back. So that was. Uh, yeah, your vegetable garden. Yeah, you guys. You guys had it good, and then, and then, COVID hit. And all you were there for loose. you were there for COVID. And COVID was quiet like the first month and a half, two months yeah. of COVID, and then post COVID, it was. We had the the, the big Baltimore order. Correct. Yeah, and that would that, that was kinda, during COVID. That was like yeah, I don't know, but we had sixty cabinets. I think by the time we were done by with Baltimore, and, and I think thirty five of them they canceled. Yeah, that's after, it. That's after, it. I'm yeah. counting those because we built half. Yeah, and then we had to build them again. So it was like yeah, almost seventy cabinets. Yeah, they changed by the, time the we order, done. and I was like. Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, I it was, those it was crazy. The, it was it was crazy, and those days were like. You went from being like really not that busy to to busy. It was you and you and Michael, right? With the yeah, that the, was the only two for during COVID. It was just Michael and no Chuck was there. Chuck was there, but he took some time off. There was it was a yeah. But it was you and Michael for a little bit, and then I COVID just before COVID, we had Chuck came in. Gary, uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy was there. Tommy Baker. Tommy Baker. Um, who else? Gary. Gary. Gary came in. I think that was like the four or five. Yeah, so that was, and that it. was really it. And, now, I, I mean, you were there today. You stopped by and looked at the... I couldn't believe it. I walked in here, and I'm in total, absolute amazement and shock. I could not believe it. Just in the three years that I left, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's the growth has been crazy, and it, it, it has been, like, insane. And I know you were, like, the, you were like technically the first full-time employee, and you were technically the first the first manager on that side, like, the first foreman, if you will, yeah, uh, over the there. Lead. I was and, the lead, and it's yeah, like... you were the lead back in the, in the wood shop, and you had, like... Three two, guys. Yeah, now, two or three guys. Now there's like I think Michael's got ten or twelve guys underneath him, and it's just it's been crazy. I mean, we are so busy um, building cabinets, and I, I know I know you still we still see you on on the social media, so I know you're you're still watching what we do. But Absolutely. you were there today. What did you think? It's amazing. Absolutely, I told you it's amazing. And even when I walk through like part of the shop there, and I'm like, well, where's the wood shop? And they're like it's the whole back of the building yeah, now. It is the whole. Back yeah, of we used to have a little piece of the, on the left. You guys had the piece of the, of the pie, and now and now yeah. now you guys got the majority, and the other guys got the, the little yeah, piece of the pie. Yeah, it's just shh, there's cabinets everywhere. Guys working everywhere. CNC machines probably never stop. 
Only at night when, when there's nobody there. <laughs> Amazing. But they, they run pretty much from, from the start of the shift to the end of the day. So they're starting them up at like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and they're running until 4 or 5 o'clock at night. So wow. they're getting 12, 12 hours, hours yeah, 12 of use. Hours. Yeah. It's yeah. 12, 12 plus hours every day of, of a machine running. So No, we had, I mean, when we first started, though, it was we were steady. It was steady, but we were able to, we were steady, and I guess it was smooth. Yeah. Everything would get done. It wasn't like craziness. Well, then all of a sudden, like I said, when COVID came in, it was starting to get craziness. Now, now it's like, holy crap! We just got an order for four cabinets, like, and they, all of a sudden, next next couple of days, we got an order for like six cabinets. And oh then yeah, seven. It was, ca- it we was, got one cabinet, seven cab, eight cabinets. It's crazy. It was absolutely insane the 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 amount of stuff that we we did during COVID, and it was like, and then we split the shifts. Right. Yeah. I was I was day shift. Yeah. So I was there with the guys at night, and it was there was it was very quiet. I mean, it was. It was quiet because there was less people there, but it was it was like a, it was like an ant, it was just like an ant hill constantly running. Well, we got right? our stuff done though. I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever you was... know, you guys would take off or take over after we left off, and then we left we'd take over after where you left off, and yeah. it was just kept on going. Yeah, but, it was, you it was know, craziness. And then, well, too is when we first, when I first started, we weren't really shipping anywhere. And now it was mostly sudden, it was mostly pickups and, and local yeah. stuff. Yeah, and then all of a sudden it's like okay, now we we're starting to ship, starting to save our pallets because we got to ship these cabinets out. And the next thing you know, we're okay. We're shipping one or two cabinets here and there. That, and then that. by the time I left, we would ship out three, four times a week. We'd ship out maybe a dozen cabinets a week or more. Well, did we have the did we have the original pallet mover when you were there? The the, the walk behind pallet <laughs> yeah. mover, and then we upgraded to that hunk of <laughs> junk <laughs> yeah. that forklift. That, forklift. That, that, that we had now. Now we got that brand new forklift. Why didn't even mean. see that? Oh, it's in the back. Yeah, it's, I'll have it's, to look at it when I go back. Oh, come on, it's first. It's first in orange. We, you know, we painted it just for you. So, <laughs> you know, it was. Uh, it's been a. It's been a real, you know, trip. And I, I know, you know, for guys like you coming back, it's like, what yeah, the it's, heck. It's, you know? like I said, I haven't been down here. I think I stopped in the shop about a, well, last year, around this time last year. So it's been a year since I've been down here. It's even changed in the one year. It's oh my it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's changed just, in the one year. Yeah, it's the whole crazy. shop changed. You know, the, it's been crazy. The way everything is laid out. A lot of new faces, too. Yeah, I don't even hardly know anybody. Yeah. Some of the old guys that are still here, that's all I know. All these new kids, I don't even know them. They're like, who's this old dude? Yeah. That's they have no idea. They have no <laughs> idea who they're even talking to. They don't know that you're a legend in the in the, uh, in the the first yeah. in uh, family there, do they? No, no, no. <laughs> Did you uh, give them the speech, too, about the, the Keurig cups? No, I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had to. Here, here they're pretty good. I mean, it's 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 Guy and Matt with their bougie Bailey's uh, cured K cups here. Right? But yeah, no, I haven't had to. I haven't had to give the speech after after you left. It it, it seemed Cal- to calm down. down. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I, I was telling a story before is that when Larry um, used to come in during the shop, he go to make us a cup of coffee, and there's always an, a used carry cup, little K cup in the machine. So the one day he was all PO'd. Came in there, and he's like, the, the next person that leaves a, a Keurig cup in this machine is going to get fired. And to this day. I haven't seen one. I, that's all we use at home. And as soon as I get done with my coffee, I pop it and take that thing out, and I throw it away. I'm afraid Larry's going to fire me. That's <laughs> your, your wife must be happy. Can you keep the Keurig machine clean? Yeah. Yeah, no. My wife got on me about it because she's like, "You got to keep those things out of there because it'll, it'll, it'll get moldy. It'll get that's." Yeah. So I, I brought that to so work, did, and yeah. that's you know. Well, I brought that home now, so. so. Yeah, so it, you know. it works out good. So, but you're not a germaphobe. No, 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 not at all. Yeah, I know a couple germaphobes, but not, yeah, no. you're definitely not one. No, no. So, so we run a fire department together. You, you mentioned yeah. that. So yeah, I was on Franco Lake's fire department 19 years, and I left. And you well, almost, you I almost were, made 20. You were you were in Oakland before that too. Yeah, I'm, I'm a life member of Oakland. Yeah. I, was, I was in Oakland for over 20, 22, I think it is. So I'm a life member there, and then I came to Franco Lake. So I got about. Almost yeah, forty two years in the fire service. And Tommy and I were talking I were over lunch, and he had the, he said the the itch he had the itch again just the other day because he uh, he rolled upon a car fire, and he said he had the itch, but then he said it quickly went away when yeah, he went and home. I'm, so and I'm like, I'm too old for this. There's no way this is a young man's job. But uh, you know what? I don't see any young guys anymore in the fire department. It's all older guys. It's <clears> it's hard. It's hard to get volunteers, and and I, I think you know when when you were in the fire department when we were over there together. I mean. We still had a bunch of young guys. Now it's, well, yeah. it's an old, it's an older crew now. It's, I uh, remember though when I first joined was, I I put my papers in end of two thousand two, I got sworn in I think in January two thousand three, but even then, you go there on a Friday night and on a Saturday night the couches were always full, 
with couples, you know. Yeah, people I hanging think, out. You know, yeah, you were, I don't out. even know if you were married yet. All the other guys um, were dating their girlfriends. They, well, most of them are all married to the same girls now, but uh, the place was packed with with, with people. Yeah, man. people hung. We hung out. We hung out. Hung we'd out. Watch, yeah, we watched TV. It was just it was just different. Yeah, back the then. tones were dropped. There was enough people there to get two two pieces of apparatus out. Absolutely, absolutely, and. And I think you did mention. I think you did join in two thousand three because I was chief one, two, and three. You came at the the tail end of my career, and I think I think you got to ride with me once in my, yeah, my chief car. So, <laughs> and I know I I remember the conversation we had. It was pretty funny because <laughs> you were a cop at the time. I was working in law enforcement too. We were both doing the same thing, and it was a storm. And you can tell you could, you could you could tell a story. It was one of those torrential downpour, rainstorms, winds knocking trees down, wires down, poles down. And I had, I think I had some hernia surgery at the time, so I wasn't riding the, the truck. I was riding with Larry in the chief's car, and it's pouring rain. We get, we get a call on the other side of town, and we're rolling down here, and all of a sudden, it, we can't even see the rain is coming down like crazy, right? It's like one of them things when you're down in Florida driving on, yeah. down a highway, and the water comes down like four inches at a clip. Yeah, it does that in North Carolina. It's and crazy. we're driving there, and the windshield wipers are going as fast as you can. You still can't see nothing. I think I mentioned Larry. I'm like, can you see? And he's like, no, I can't see nothing. And here we go, balls to the wall, right to the call. And I remember Tommy saying, well, we might want to just slow down a little bit. I was like, oh, we got the lights on. We'll be okay. We made it. We didn't hit nothing. Yeah, we didn't hit nothing. But, yeah, no, it was, it was pouring. It was, I remember that rainstorm. It was bad. It was a, oh. I remember it was a tree against the house, and, the tr- and it, it had went through the wires, and the, it, it was on fire. It was, it was crazy. It was kind of crazy at that point. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it was, that was a, a torrential storm. But I remember that conversation. I also remember a couple of trips down to the uh, – the the Christmas parade. Oh yeah, we had a few of those. Um, yeah, the, uh, Wallington, the Christmas Wallington Christmas parade. parade. That was that was. We had a lot of good times. I mean, it, I, I I do miss it now that I'm you know basically retired. But, but I, I, it's the camaraderie and it's stuff. But like even that. even so, if we went to the Wallington Christmas parade, then we'd be lucky to get four or five guys out. We we brought like. Ten or twelve guys. Oh, yeah, more, back yeah, in the day. more than that. Fifteen guys. Yeah, easy. We had we had a lot of fun going to those parades, decorating the trucks and. and one year uh, we brought the boat. Oh yeah, I threw the anchor out of somebody's front lawn because <laughs> yeah. we were stopped so long. Yeah, we had no; those were good times, and uh, you know, it's 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 changed. There's just less guys. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. Everybody's got it's, stuff going on. Life life happens, right? Yep, so absolutely, and it's so. it's hard. And I even like that car fire rolled up the other day. It was just two guys on the engine for the longest time until mutual aid showed up. Yeah, it's it, it's it's hard to watch too, right? Cause it you're, is. You're like you're like, oh man, I, re- I really want to do something, but I did actually. I backed a guy up. You know? There you go. Shorts you and go. a t-shirt. You just know, stay, I moved the hose. Stay back far enough. Yeah, right? I did stay back far enough. I just moved That's the hose around so he could uh, he could move around and operate. Oh, there you go. So, so you're you you reti- How long have you been? Three years now. You've been been out I, here. Yeah, I left. I left ten seventy five in twenty one after COVID, right? Yeah, uh, twenty twenty one. I think it was like maybe the first week of December. 2021. I had sold my house. Well, that was that was the second time you left. I think the first. Time yeah, the first left. time I left. The first I got time you left, call. you wrote you wrote on Crayola on a piece of yeah, paper just, that I'm, I'm retiring. But I'm I got done. a big. I'm I got done. A, I got a big party. Mm-hmm. Five years, and they're giving my go away party all catered and everything. <laughs> and then and Jimmy, you came, you came and you came and back I, for another two months. Yeah, and I said, well, I'm going to stay now. I'm not leaving after my big party. <laughs> I remember that. There was something happened with like the the deal that the house fell through. Yeah, or something. Yeah, it was, it, yeah, because one of those deals might yeah. close. It didn't close. It didn't close. You're like, ah, oh, I'll stay for a little bit longer. And then we sold it three weeks later, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, you stayed about an extra month. I yeah, think it was. You came back for about a month. So I remember that. It was it was fun. We had and we had good times. We had a lot of laughs like oh. back in the in the old shop. It was fun. It did. We did. We had a really good time. And uh, you know now 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 that the retired life and 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 I I live vicariously through you on Facebook because I see it's usually either food. Or bars with with these craft oh. liquors that you're oh my going god, to. You're, you're you you are a um, I think a, a, what did you I call you a vagabond. You call yourself a nomad. A nomad. Yeah, I guess more of a nomad. I, nomad, don't. but a vagabond is somebody that has no home, and you really technically true. You, I don't have a home. You do not have I'm a home. I'm a full time RVer. You are so. full time RVer. So I, I we have questions about that. Like, so where does your mail go? My mail goes to I'm a South Dakota resident. I knew it was one of those states. Yeah, you, have to, so you have to go there once a year so or something crazy go, like that? Yeah. You, once you, if you go to South Dakota and you spend 24 hours, you can become a resident. Okay. So there's a mailing service called America's Mailbox in South Dakota. So I registered with that. So my mail goes to this mailbox. So wherever I am in the country. It's forwarded via. I can say, look, I'm going to be here in two weeks. I can set it up. And my mail will be at that location in two weeks. So then, I, 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 while I was there, I got my residency. 
So I, everything is like my so trucks and trucks, cars, your driver's license, everything. Everything is South, South Dakota. Dakota. What a difference. Taxes. Taxes uh, only federal, no state tax. So you made out there too. Yeah. So, so it's I say. I know people that try and do that, and you technically, if, if you have a house anywhere else, you cannot do that. It's only no. if you if you're truly. Yeah. You, so you truly are, are like you did. You sold everything, and you just you have the RV, and that's it. I yeah. Mean, it's like Texas, South Dakota, and Florida are the three states you're able to do that. Okay. They allow it, I should say. <clears throat> and uh, so we we took South Dakota, which is like there. I went to DMV in the morning, seven o'clock. We walked in, so quarter quarter after seven, seven fifteen. We were, walked you were, out. You're heading home with, our with, with everything, right? I, and they, they, up there, they say like we were in Rap- Rapid City, Box Elder, next door. And they say if you're uh, waiting in line in traffic in South Dakota, it means you're the third car in the line at traffic light. <laughs> That's their traffic. We drove from the airport, Rapid City Airport, to our hotel on a four-lane highway and never passed another car. That's crazy. Until we got there. Yeah. And, you know, people that don't don't realize we're in New Jersey and we're in the oh. we're in the northern part of New Jersey. So for us, I mean, you 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 leave anywhere and it's you add 20 minutes to wherever well, you're going to go just to just to make sure you get there on time and that's if there's no traffic or 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 no accidents. That's like now when we were just in New Mexico over the winter. I left New Mexico, uh, I, was, I, I was on a border wall. I had a campground right on a border wall. And uh, it's, you could see it right from the campground. Really? Yeah. We went there. It was, it was a border crossing, so you didn't see nothing really, anybody jumping over the wall or anything. But when I left there, I was going to um, Tex, back to Texas. Okay. Actually, no, I was going up to Carlsbad Caverns up in New Mexico. When I drove through the desert, we went over an hour through the desert, on a two-lane highway just wide enough for my truck and trailer, no cell service, nothing, and never passed another car. Oof. Day or night? Day. Night, yeah, I wouldn't do it night at would, night. Night would no, have I would have brutal. never done it at night. I would be, I, at night, I know, the, I know the aliens would have come down and scooped me up. So. But it's like in the movies when you, they show the movie and you see the, way, the road just, wavy. And keep going. Heat, just keep going. And yep. just keep going. That's what it was like. It was, it was amazing. I, got, I can show you the pictures. It's, but it, the, the full-time travel is amazing. It really is. So the let's stuff that I let's talk about the full time travel. So you so you do you do stay in New Jersey for a couple months. Seven months. I'll stay here for about between like between six and seven months. Okay. Depending on when I'm leaving. Like this year, I'm leaving early. I'm leaving in October to start my travels. You stay at a camp, your local campground for the yeah. For I stay the, at the local for the campground summer. up here okay. for the summer. My kids and stuff are up here, so I see my kids, my grandkids, and then where do you go from here? From here this year, October, I'm October, you're going? Where, where are you going? I so, know you did the Bourbon Trail. I know you, I, yeah, we did the Bourbon Trail two years ago. Last year, we were we did Williamsburg, Gatlinburg. Then we went down to Georgia. We drove uh, armored personnel carriers. I saw the videos then, of that yeah, online, too, yeah. Got to shoot. They gave us 100 rounds of 30 cal machine gun. We got to shoot the machine gun. That was, that's wild. That's, that's amazing. Then from there to Louisiana, to Florida. Back you got, and forth you got family in Florida. In Florida. You yeah, got family, got family in Florida, in Florida so, yeah. and friends. And then from there, we went to Louisiana, Grand Isle, Louisiana, which is about two hours south of New Orleans in the middle of nowhere. Oh, really? Yeah, it's on a little island. It's like single-lane highway all the way there. And then from Grand Isle to uh, – where did we go? Oh, we went to Galveston Island, Texas. Okay. Stayed in Galveston a couple weeks. From Galveston to Houston – my cousin's house. From there, we went out by Austin, ended up in Tucson, then went up in the mountains of Tucson, Sholo, Arizona, to visit a friend. And that's 8,000 feet above sea level up there. you got to ask Matt about his trip to uh, to Arizona and how, how he he had no idea how how the the, oh, yeah. the elevation was going to really affect we were, him. We yeah. were in Tucson, and it was in the 80s. We got to Sholo. My water pipe or my water hose froze. It was 28 degrees at night. And fifty during the day, you know, two and a half hours from yeah. from Arizona north. And he and he said he said he said they they were even getting like a little bit of lightheadedness and illness. From oh the, yeah, from the just from the the air. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I, I went to I went to Colorado and I went through the same thing. Like they tell you, don't, this is don't like drink, a, don't do any of that. For they're your... close to three thousand feet higher than Denver. Yeah, so, so Denver's like five thousand feet. Yeah. This is eight thousand feet. Yeah, so they always tell you don't drink for like three days, two, three days. I'm sure you didn't yeah. hear to that. That one, that rule probably you threw right in the garbage because I know <laughs> how you are. And we went back down to Tombstone, and then uh, we did well, we did old Tucson, then Tombstone down to New Mexico, Carlsbad Caverns, then across to Abilene, Texas, and we did Fort Worth. Oh, I love Fort Worth. 
We're gonna go back there. We're gonna, gonna spend go back a, to yeah, we're gonna spend a couple weeks there, maybe a month even, by Fort Worth. So you, you kind of go around and then you kind of make your way north as it's starting to warm up. You come you come back. Yeah, you start, I'll come you start up working your way east, right? Yeah, like if I when I'm going out there, I'm using Route 10, which is the farthest highway interstate below, and then coming home, I was on Route 20, but I went as high as Route 4, uh, no 30. When I, it was like it's like 40, 30. You know, 40s, 40s, 80s are high. 40 will take 80, you. 90. 40 will take you from Wilmington, North Carolina, and straight across. So that's kind of, kind of yeah. where that one is. So. No, we did, we did 20 coming home because I was supposed to come up 81 over the mountains. Yep. But they were getting snow, and I said, so I'm not towing a trailer in the snow. I'm right. surprised you didn't turn around and go back to Florida until the snow was no, done. I no, stay, oh, I no, stayed no, low. No, you, you stay low, right? Yeah. Okay. I stayed with the South Carolina. I took Route 20 right into, yeah, to South Carolina. We stayed in uh, Alabama, then to South Carolina. You waited out a little bit until... And then the, you guys were getting rain up here. We were on our way up in March. You got like two days of heavy rains. So I just I found a campground in Virginia, stayed in Virginia until it, it, it passed. passed. Yeah. And then we came up. How do you like 95? I know you probably like me. Avoided all your... No, all you know, I right? found a new route now, 15. Oh, you did a 15? A lot of people talk about that 15. I've never done just it. Just above uh, Fredericksburg? Yep. You cut left. You cut, yeah. I think you cut, it's you 280 cut, or you cut west a little bit, right? Yeah, cut west, 287 or 278. I forget what it was. 276. Anyway, 276 takes your Route 15. Yeah. I come out in Harrisburg, and then I come right across to my campsite. Yep, I think it's 276 if I remember correctly. But yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've, it's you know it's tough for me because I'm going I'm going to the to North Carolina and for me to go west to come east. Yeah, it's no, just it's, it's, a, a, it's a hard sell because it, it adds like two hours to my time. But sometimes I'm in no rush. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes, sometimes when I'm going, I'm really not in a rush either. But sometimes when I'm going down there, I'm like, I'm like I just want to get there, and that extra two hours, and then, and then of course I hit some kind of accident or traffic on 95. Of and course, I'm like, and I'm like, I should have just went the other way. It would have been the same amount of time, and I would have had less of a headache. But I don't do it, and I, I, I kick myself all the time. I've but. traveled 95 in traffic. I got off on 301. I know where 301. Says, yep. And I says I'm gonna I, I traversed 95. About an hour, hour and a Cause half. Because three one goes like this across ninety five. It, it, yeah, it you, you go its back. Way. Yeah, yeah, wiggles yeah. next to it. Yeah. So then I came out. I think it was in the Carolinas. So I came back out on ninety five, and when I left, I was following a um, Cadillac, pearl colored Cadillac. I remember. I forgot the license plate, but I remember. And I came out on three one right behind him. Oh really? An hour and a half later, I came out behind the same car. So he had a little bit of traffic, and you took 301. Yeah, if you go, if you could, you can take 301. It, it's just outside of Wilmington. You can you can follow it up kind of the coast area of, of North Carolina. So I know what you're talking about. Usually I bit. stick with 81. I just like that 81, 77, 26. But that's yeah, too well, far south for you. Too far west, yeah. Because for me to come down 81 to cut over, if I take 81 to 40 to cut over, I've added three or four hours to my time yeah. because it's like it's like this. You know, it starts to travel too far west for me at that point. Yeah, because no, even 95 starts to hook west. You know, I, I get off early because I, I cut through the back. I end up on 40 to 140 to 17 and 17 straight okay. down the coast. So, but. Yeah, so this nice year, this year I'm leaving. We're going to Chickateek. Yep. In Virginia. First, yeah, Virginia. Then from Chickateek to Virginia Beach. Yeah, it's right there, yeah. To Curry Tuck, which is uh, by the outer, it's on the That's, mainland of the Outer Banks. Yes. It's like you could look at the, the lighthouse, the Corolla, is a Corolla lighthouse, I think yep. it's called. Right across, there's a campground on the, on the mainland, Curry Tuck. We have some neighbors, old neighbors that are living there, so we're going to go see them. Okay. Then from there, we're going to Myrtle Beach. Okay. And then from, my neck of the woods, yeah. Yeah, it's from Myrtle Beach to Savannah. Okay. And then from Savannah to St. Augustine. I think we're staying in Savannah eight days, St. Augustine for nine days. And then I'm going from St. Augustine down to Sebastian Inlet in Florida, just above... Um, my dad's house, Port St. Lucie area. Okay. Just below Cape Canaveral and then like in between my dad and Cape Canaveral. You. And then we're going to stay there for like five and then go to my dad's house for, for December. Gotcha. And okay. Back on, I haven't made my plans yet for after that, but it's going to, yeah. we're going to end up in Texas. You know, you know where you, you know where you're stopping through December and then you go yeah. figure the rest no, of it out. We're going to spend the hill country, Texas, where it's all wineries. Okay. So I can't wait for that. We'll be testing. You ever been to Padre Island or any of that, any of that area? No, that's also on my list. We're going to go south. So, you got to let me know how that one is because I, so I want to do that in, trip. I'm going to stay in Galveston Island for two weeks. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot down. To Padre? Yeah, down to Padre. It's not that far, right? A couple no, hours? we got three, four hours. Yeah, okay. And then come across. It's, it's my, so far. And I want to go up to Big Bend. Okay. On the, on the west side. Have you hit Pigeon little... Forge yet or no? Oh, yeah. We were there last year. Oh, you went to Pigeon Forge? Okay. Yeah, I tasted every single uh, moonshine place there ever was. Um. 
I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Why should I be surprised, Tommy? It gets just too sweet after a while. I had to go find a bourbon place. Oh, well, yeah. I did find one. I was tasting bourbon instead of that crap. Well, you do you do the bourbon trail. You, you did the bourbon. Did yeah, you do did it once or twice? No, only once. But only I'm going to do it again. I'll probably do it again. Not this season, but the next season. I got a buddy who wants me to do the bourbon trail with him. Oh, it's like, phenomenal. Oh. It's great. And he, wants, in... he wants to do that and then end up meeting the wives in uh, in Nashville. So Yeah, that's what we, we, we did. We talked about it. How did we do it? We, I think we did Nashville first. You did Nashville first because I remember I remember you, you said you were going to go to Nashville, and then do the Louis bourbon trail, and then, and then coming east, and you're going to head south to Florida from there. That's what you did, or you said you were going to do, anyhow. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think I, well, I forget how we did it, but yeah, we hit the bourbon trail in Nashville. Nashville's great too. Yeah, Nashville's a lot of fun. So, so I, you know, I I know when when you first left here, you sold your house. You were like, ah, oh, you know, we're going to get this. Would you buy a 35 foot? Yeah, I got a 35 foot fifth wheel. Fifth wheel, and you were like, ah, oh, you know. I know you'd been the, you'd been camping before. You had the other trailer, so you kind of knew what it was all about. But you you weren't. I know you were you were sold, but you weren't 110 percent sold. Now today, you're probably like, oh, what a, was that? Your best decision you made? Absolutely, absolutely. You I, love you know, it, huh? It just I do. It really is. I mean, it's it's good we get to see our grandkids and our kids up here, but then I get that five month break from everybody. <laughs> nah, I love all my kids. It's I'm like kidding, but. Yeah, I do. But miss. you get to see the country too. You, you get, get to see, see different country. things that you wouldn't have seen, right? Yeah, and I do miss my kids, and we're you know we're gone. My grandkids. I can always fly in and meet you somewhere. We, uh, my one daughter, actually both both of them came down last year during the winter. Two out go. of the three. There you go. So, so they you came s- down. Yeah, yeah. so we can, got to see them. They can What's always fly into wherever you are. They can always stay in a hotel or stay yeah. with you. I mean, probably hotel. You know, oh, no, when my, my dad's house. There's plenty of room there. Oh, there's plenty of room there. A, okay, yeah. Yeah, this, the the camper I have is not good for four people. No, I mean, it's set up. It's set up for you. It's set up for you and your it's wife. It's a couples coach, yeah. basically. There's you know, the bed folds out, but it's not comfortable. Oh, I'm sure it's not. The couch so. rather folds out to a bed. I'm sure it's not. No, but it's, it's the stuff that we've. The seen. grandkids could sleep on that for a yeah. night or two, but oh, not, yeah, they, not, they, they, not. They would the, never know a difference. Yeah. No, but the stuff we've seen in the last two years, the last two seasons, because the first year we sold our house, we just drove places in my truck. But yeah, well, you were you were still kind of. It was kind of late too, wasn't it? Like in the yeah, it December. Was, it was so wintry. It, I remember it was that. Like, yeah. I think it was December seventeenth. Okay. We closed in a house, just jumped in a truck, and drove south. I pass by your house all the time. I, I, I just drove by today. There. Oh, I did you drove, drive yeah, by? Yeah, I, I, I passed drove there. by the firehouse and the house and just see what's going on. Just see what the old neighborhood looks like. Yeah. See if anything's changed. Nothing's changed over nope, there. Same thing. Looks just the same. So yeah, no. Other than the backyard's a little cleaner, I think, than when you had it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they might have they got rid of that pile of gravel that sat there for eighteen years. Yeah, oh, I got rid of that. Yeah, well, they were waiting, you were waiting to do the back patio. Yeah, it, was it, was, it was on your bucket list, right? It was on my bucket list. I'll get, I'll One get of them things. You know, it's like that's back when we had a seasonal trailer, so every weekend. You were gone. We were gone. Yeah. And things just sat around, never got finished. And the season was short, right? The season's only so long, so you every, well, you don't want, want to miss any weekends. No. Yeah, we got seven months up there. But and if you didn't go up because it was raining, you weren't going outside and, and laying gravel, Hell that's no. for sure. Hell no, that stuff's going to sit. And it did. <laughs> Oh, I remember, I remember coming over to help out clean. I'm like, I'm like, what is this pile? It's been here for like years. And it never failed too. Every time I went up there, be like, turn the news on or the pager goes off, or I turn something on. It's like, son of a gun, we got a house fire and I missed it again. I probably missed most of the house fires because I was up there. <laughs> yeah, you didn't miss much. No. All right, you, you got paid the same, so it didn't matter. It's it. Yeah. You got, exactly. you got, you got, your, you got your thank you from the for being a volunteer. So that I do but. miss. I do and I don't. But like I said before, it's just. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, how, how would you? You wouldn't even be able to volunteer. I mean, you, you don't. You, you really don't have a home base to work. You're never. You're never anywhere long enough. Well, the, where I'm staying now, I can join. Oh, the yeah. Fire company up there. They're looking for help. Anybody. They'll take. They'll take you for six, seven months there. They'll yeah. be they'll pretty happy to have you. But beyond that, you're on the road the rest of the rest yeah of rest of, the time. of five months. So new truck got a dually right. Yeah, you got said. a dually diesel. After climbing, uh, actually Arizona, climbing those mountains in Arizona through Salt River Canyon up in the Sholo. And at hills it was eight and a half percent grade they go on for miles and miles and actually what started it i was in gatlinburg we left gatlinburg and i went over i thought i went around the mountains i thought i had my route well i ended up going through the mountains so wrong I, route huh yeah i had that you know ram 3500 with a with a hemi yeah, i remember that and uh the eight foot bed the whole works i mean it was doing good but i was i was working my trailer brakes a little bit my truck brakes i'm coming down these mountains i look behind me my trailer brakes were smoking. I'm like, I got to get over. Plus, the mountains were on fire. It was forest fires everywhere. I'm going through. Cl- I can't even really tell if it's my trailer brakes or the smoke that I'm driving through. Oh, God. 
So I ended up pulling over with my trailer brake, let them cool, get to the bottom of the mountain. And then I went up into Sholo and came back down. I drove, and when I got to Fort Worth, I drove right into the first Ram dealer and bought that truck. <laughs> How many miles you got on that one now? The Four, new one? First 4,000 in this one. Okay, so it's, it's, it's ready for the season. Oh yeah, it's right. What about the how many? Would you end up on the other, on the? Uh, that was the, that was the burgundy one, right? Or burgundy? Or no, red? that was my fifteen on the burgundy. Oh. this one was a silver one. The, the oh, that's right. Two silver. Bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, I had fifty thousand miles on it in two years. Two years, yeah. That's it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of driving. Oh yeah, it's impressive. So I did, like I said, nine thousand miles this last season, and twelve thousand miles two years ago, but. That's not included. That's only that's only trailered miles. Okay. I had like fifteen or sixteen thousand on my truck. Just from when you were. Yeah, and it was there was twelve thousand yeah. miles on the, the the silver truck before I traded in for this truck. Gotcha. So it was a lot of miles on there, plus you know the miles up here. So where's the trailer now? I keep it in storage. And then you have another because yeah, you have the other one at the yeah campground, we have the right? other one the ones that I have yeah two trailers but yeah. this one here we've had it forever. Yeah. So why go out and buy? You know, we we'd stay in uh, this one here. And, I I hear you. And preserve the you other had, one. You for had traveling. a third. You had a third one too at one point. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that whole. I story. sold that. I got rid of that one. Did you finally get a title for it? Nope. Oh, sold you had, it a, sell, you had yeah. a sell without a title. I remember you were you were scrapping around like, oh man, I know I have the title somewhere. I just can't find never it. Never found it. Never even cleaning out the house. Never found a title. Yeah, it's probably it's probably between I, the floorboards or something. I think I hit it in that trailer somewhere. You never never I found never it. found it. I put it somewhere where I'd never forget it. I did. Yeah. I'll never forget where this is. Yep, you forgot. So so w- what's on the list? What's on the list of things for, for you guys to do? Where, where, where are you going next to see? I know you went to a couple places, but what's on the list? You got There's got to be some spots well, that you – we're going to do uh, probably maybe two years. Not Maybe next year. I think we're going to start real early next year. We're going to sp- spend some time. I spent like a, a month or so in South Dakota. Okay. I'm going to spend a lot. I want to spend some time up there. And get out farther west, but northwest. Gotcha. Because right now, I'm because I'm, I'm going into colder months. I'm limited. I mean, even like if I went up to even Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's cold. They still get it's cold and it's they get cold. snow. Yeah. So I, I stay I stay low. Yeah, because you, you want you don't want to have to winterize the trail. I, I, I even chance at going up to Sholo because there was snow before the week before I was there. Yeah, There's still they, snow on the ground. They were, they were skiing up there. Yeah, you got to be careful because you, you don't want everything to freeze, right? You yeah, start I don't, don't want to get stuck and, in a snowstorm with that trail. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I mean, through all the years of being on 287, you see all these people stuck with trailers yep. and in a snowstorm, they're jackknifed. They still, and they still get caught, yep. yeah. Yeah, and it's so. like, no way. You're not this, I'm not doing that. We so. only travel five hours a day. Five hours on a map. It's okay. either five hours, 300 miles at the most I'll travel. And you find you usually have your campground set I, up? Yeah, I, I'm all set up. Like I said, for now, I'm, I'm set up for end of October all the way into gotcha. second week of December. But you're not, you're not one of those guys that's pulling at every Walmart parking no, lot no, no. setting up. I don't trust the Walmarts. Yeah. I mean, it's my, my wife says the I'm, same I'm thing. Protect- she, watches, she watches those shows. She's like, everything that happens happens in a Walmart. Yeah, I'm as like, you yeah. know, we're protected, but that protection only goes so far. Yeah, I know. I, I hear you. I don't blame you. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, dude, it's been great seeing you. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying enjoying oh. this retired life. I mean, you deserve it. I mean. I, I remember. I remember when you broke your thumb. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, that was. Uh, I remember that, and you yelled at me. Why didn't you come down and help me? And I was like, oh, Help yeah. you what? I was on vacation. You, were, but it happened two doors down yeah, two from my house. house. Yeah, that was it. I, that was yeah, pursuit. Yeah, that, that the, ba- the bailout ended up having two driveways down two from down, my house. Yeah. And you Sirens were like, out there. I'm like, Larry, you didn't even did you come down here and help us. Two thirty in the morning. <laughs> he, he texted me. The next, you texted me the next day, and you were like, Why didn't you come help me? And I was like, Help you with what? You didn't hear the sirens? I go. I think I was in Florida or something. Yeah, you at the were time. Down, you were somewhere. Yeah, I was down in Florida. I'm like, no, I'm in Florida. Sorry, I would have helped you out though. And then I you know were, you would have come out. And then you were walking around. around. You were walking around with <laughs> the hand like this and the big cast, and the thumb was like this. Oh yeah, I can't even move that. That's as far as that thumb goes. Yeah, and you were, you had to work for how a while with that, right? I think I was out five months with this five one. Five months, yeah. And yeah, probably Still probably shouldn't even work, put though. you like back. I said, it doesn't they, even. They should, probably should never even set you back to work. Look at that thumb. It's like, I know. I can't. I can't grab it. If I try to grab something. Falls out of my hand. Oh, so you drink with your left hand? I, mostly times I do. Yeah, you're a left-handed drinker. Okay. I can, this is good for a beer bottle, though, or a glass. Like a, I can get myself like a, a rocks glass is good. It, it fits perfectly? Yeah. The hand fits perfectly? Like bourbon. So. A lot of bourbon. Oh, That's there like, you go. I went to Louisiana. I, last year I was in Louisiana, or the year before, in this liquor store. Every For every bottle of bourbon you buy, 
they put your name in a, in a, in a hat with a ticket to win a free bottle of bourbon. Oh, you told me this story. Yeah, yeah you told so, me about the story. I didn't, I didn't know where it was. We're almost home, and I, my phone rings. Like, hey, this is Joe from down here. It was actually a guy who owned a liquor store in, uh, we were by Fontainebleau, not Fontainebleau State, yeah, uh, yeah, Fontainebleau State Park in Louisiana. And he calls me up. He's like, hey, you want a bottle of bourbon? And uh, I was like, man, I'm almost home. He's like, I'll hold it for you. I said, I'll be back November. And he's like, yeah, I'll probably hold. He held it for me until I got back down here in November. Oh, nice. Three hundred dollar bottle of bourbon. I'm gonna yeah, you're make gonna sure make, that make sure you get, get I through make that sure, where, yeah. there you go. We're, hey, guess what, Cindy? We're going to Louisiana. Now, did you ever get down to uh, was it Fontainebleau, Mississippi? Is it Mississippi that we had? Yeah, no, I that's never. Where made we donated, it that's there. where we donated our mini pumper to. Yeah, I never. I haven't gone out. I'm gonna try that this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up in Biloxi. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll, I don't travel the highway. I'll travel. I think it's I want to say Route 90 that goes through there. Okay. I'll, tra- I'll travel that. I'll travel the back roads as much as I can. I try to stay off the highways. Well, you got an. At- you must have an atlas still, huh? Of course. You got to use an atlas. First thing I buy every year. The new atlas every, to see what every roads. Every January, you get a new atlas. Whether it's yeah. probably hasn't changed, new roads, but I buy it. Yeah, listen, that's the way to go, especially if you're going to be traveling like that. Where you, oh yeah. You, I mean, it's 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 one thing to look at it on a computer, or let the let the phone do it for you, but when you want to see roads, you got to be able to you know. When you're yeah. mapping, it's easier to do it for, off, a, off an atlas. That's for sure. Yeah, because you do your GPS. It just tells you how to get there. It takes you the quickest way. And But I want to find other roads. So what I'll do is, like say, if I want to stay off the side roads, I may have to just put that town in, like on a GPS, so I stay off that, that main road and then go through. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then keep following it. It takes, me, it takes me hours to book one place because what I'll do is when I, when I book my, my campground – so I find a campground I want to go. Then I go to YouTube. Somebody always has a YouTube video of a campground. Do you want to make sure it's... Yeah, I want to make sure it's that. It's not It's not run down? And then I go to Google Earth. You know, go in, try to pick the site off the... Because I'll give you the sites. Yeah. And then I'll try to pick so the site off Google Earth. find your site Google number, yep. Make sure there's no trees or, you know, that I can't back in. If it looks like a tight site. Plus YouTube. So it takes a couple, three hours just to do one one stop. So it takes me a while. You sound like Clark Griswold when he did that trip across America (laughs) and back in the the movie Vacation, right? He planned it all out for weeks and weeks and months and and just to make it all happen. I don't know if I have enough there for Aunt Ethel up on the top top of the trailer, though. (laughs) But, yeah, no, I mean, it it sounds like you're having a great time, though. I mean, Really are. We are. We're enjoying every minute of it. It sounds like a, a, a fun time and... You know, you you definitely worked hard. You deserve it. You you know. I'm, Thank you. I'm glad I mean, you guys are enjoying it. You know, we miss you. We do miss you at the firehouse. I will say that. You know, and uh, we do miss you over here too. It was it was always it was oh, always something entertaining it, going you know, on when, when you were I, in work. As I told you before, ten well, ten seventy five and first in first yeah. in, we were like, I loved it. I loved working there. It was like such a big difference from being a cop. And you know, when I was a kid, I worked in a factory for ten years, in uh, Stryker Osteonics in a foundry, but then when I became a cop, and then when I left there, I, I came by you guys. and But I, I enjoyed getting up every day to go to work. I Different, because there was hardly any responsibilities. It was, yeah, it was nice. I mean, I knew, I mean, for the first couple of years, I was going to play with JMO all day long and build a couple cabinets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just slap a couple cabinets together. Now, now with these young guys we got working there now, we don't even have the same... Uh, table saw anymore we have that one that that the minute it, it senses there's, there's blood or it shuts down so we don't lose you know people don't lose their fingers because <laughs> that old table saw was nice though that was i think that was my dad's old table saw from my basement and i, I think it was yeah yeah and i think that's that's gone we finally got rid of the uh remember the old remember the old old desk that ryan was keeping keeping alive and then we finally put it up we oh. finally put it up top because he was he was going to put it in his uh in his museum, I think yeah. we finally got rid of that. I think we finally talked to, talked to him last year, and we finally were able to get rid of that That's and good. clean that out because he was keeping that as like a memento. I don't, you know. We did we did have a few uh, antique items up there. That yeah, should have remember the. I, you know, Ryan and I were talking, um, and you, you remember the white when you first came. We still, I think we still had the white plastic tables in the break room, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. The ones where where the, the they were not. Fat guy friendly. Uh, every no, time no, turn no. Around, we snapped chair legs, and <laughs> yeah. you know, I think we had twenty chairs for you know, uh, and we were down to like eight that worked. <laughs> I just thought about. Remember that day we're all sitting out back, and the bear came to visit us. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> we're all sitting out back. Hey, right? we're all sitting at the picnic table. The next thing you know, I'm like, "Hey, Larry, look!" Everybody turns around slow. I'm like, well, actually, I think I said, "Turn around slow, look," and here's a bear standing right there. Yep. Black bear walked right up, 
what, 10 feet away from us? About 10 feet, yeah. Sitting there looking at us. And finally we made noise and he turned around and ran away. Yeah, he was, he smelled the food because I think we, you guys were eating lunch or something. <laughs> yeah. And he smelled the food. He was like, oh, let me go go investigate this. Yep. Yeah, it's always in, always something going on, you know. So. Yeah, it was good. The good old days. I enjoyed it. Yeah, we had a good time. And, you know, it was it was – it was fun. It's, you know, it's still fun, but it's different. You know, and, uh, it's a lot busier. I think yeah. we were, I talked to you earlier, and I told you I think we're almost at 50 employees. I think you almost fell out of your chair. Yeah. Um, I think we used to have, uh, I think our first Christmas party was like party for 12 or 13. Yeah, and that included that included a guest, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a little, it was different. So, you know, it's just, it's growing. It's been good. It's been good. It's been at times a little trying because, you know, it's just, Oh, it's a business. It's 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 growth, and you try and you try and manage your growth and everything else. But you know, we do definitely miss uh, miss having you there. You thank you. There were there were times that uh, I know I was a, a little little ornery, and you you made you could make me laugh. Yeah, you but, could make me laugh. Yeah, and, and, no, you and, were you were good. You were you know, I knew when to when to believe you, when not to believe you. You were you're. I mean, oh, you knew you, when could, to, you, you also could, knew when to poke the bear too. Oh yeah, you you, you knew you knew you were like ah. Oh. He's having a good day. Let me go poke him a little bit and just get him a little, little worked up, up so he's not yeah. so he's not enjoying himself. So, <laughs> and I'd be like, Tommy, just get away from I, yeah. me. I knew I knew when to turn around and walk away. Oop, let me get the hell out of here before something happens. Yeah, when I was growling, if I was growling under my breath, you usually ran. Well, you could tell if you pulled up and you just came head looking down right into the office. Uh oh. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> with Chris when you used to walk in, Chris would be like. Oh, Larry's here. <laughs> Somebody's getting fired. <laughs> Somebody's getting. <laughs> he used to freak out every time, and you were like, "What's the big deal? He comes here every day. He's no, my no. chief. I know what he's like." <laughs> no, he's somebody's getting fired today. <laughs> so, but no, it's 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 completely different now. It's a completely different world. It's you know, it's a whole. It's the whole world is changing, and you know, and it's it's what's well, for the better for you guys. Yeah. yeah, it's it's nice to see that shop. I mean, just loaded. I just you know. There's days I pull my own hair out. You can see I have none left. Um, yeah, okay. I pulled it all out. It's you know how you know how that is. So, but listen, I really appreciate you coming in to visit with us. I I'm enjoyed, glad, glad you could make I, it in. I enjoyed every minute of um, it. You know, don't be a stranger. Definitely come back and visit with us. Oh, I will. Make sure you bring some Bucky's uh, gear the next time. Uh, you, next time you know, I go, I'll get you a shirt. And uh, we, we might have some, some. We might have something for you too here. So <laughs> something first in at 1075. So nice. I know you can add it to your collection. So, but I really appreciate it. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Larry. Good seeing you, bud. Hey, same here.